Welcome back to the Cowboy and Valley Timberline Junction Railroad. Uh, I've got a short update for you today. Um, been doing a lot of work since uh, uh, since I retired, uh, so the layout's getting the majority of my time, um, and uh, it's starting to come along a little better, a little bit faster now. But anyway, let's get to uh, to the layout. <laughs> things I just finished yesterday um, was the um, edging around the the, the uh, turntable. Um, I don't know how prototypical this is. Uh, I know it's not in Durango like this, but I like the look of it, and so this is the way I went. And it's just railroad um, ties. Most of them are cut in half and then stained and then laid around the edge, and it gave, gives it a nice finished look. Um, one of the other things I did was uh, relocated the uh, Como Roundhouse that was going to sit right here. Uh, it's going to go now on the upper level. So that gave me a lot more room in here to put some more detail work, and there'll be some buildings sit in right here. Um, but I also got some auxiliary tracks in, and I got some pavement put in along the flats in the back um, up to the docks and stuff. So I'll be able to bring some trucks in there too. Um, but as you can see, the uh, tracks come up to about right there. Uh, then I've also got, as you can see, I've got a lot of uh, the track ballasted, uh, the narrow gauge tracks ballasted in the yard, uh, and a lot of the ground cover. So not all of it yet, but it's an ongoing process. So um, this is kind of what it's going to look like. It'll, it'll have a lot more detail on it than this. Uh, I decided to put the sand tower right here. Uh, it's not wired up yet. It's got a light on it also, as does the coal tower, which has a couple of lights on it, but they're not wired yet either. Uh, but I do have the uh, coal tower in. The pit is in in the back. Uh, the pigeons are at home on top. And I've got some of the coal and cinder in it, as you can see. Uh, then I think the, uh, the water tower is going to sit in this location. I'm, this is not a... Uh, set in stone yet. I've changed my mind about five times on where I'm going to put this. Um, but this might be a good location since I took out uh, a turnout right here that I had in here when I put the lumber yard in. I decided to take this turnout that was right in this location. Uh, so that gave me room to put the, the uh, water tower in. Uh, the ice loading platform is in the location. This is the location it's going to be in. It's not installed yet. Uh, because I want to get some ground cover and stuff down on it first. But as you can see, this is where it's going to sit. Uh, some of the other stuff I got done. Uh, I got some more ballasting and uh, track detail done, scenery detail done over here on this side. Um, there again, it's not completely finished by any means. But it's uh, a lot more than was on it last time. <laughs> uh, this is where the Mission Cafe is going to sit. Right there in that location. Of course, I still have to scenic this whole area. I uh, did get the gates up on the, uh, the lumber yard and also got the parking facility for the customers. And uh, those are right next to some of the abandoned track that uh, extended through the yard in an earlier era. Um, also got the road back to the uh, back to the flats put in and the uh, overgrown dead end installed. I still got to put some signage on it, but that's pretty much what it's going to look like. Then let's see what else I got. 
Okay, one of the other things that took a while to do <clears throat> that I got put in, since I've wired, gotten all the uh, tracks in the yard wired, uh, as I have the control panel uh, finished for this. Well, it's not quite finished. All the on-off toggles here on the right that go to the roundhouse and the auxiliary tracks are not hooked up yet, but those are pretty simple to do. Uh, they're just on-off, so I don't have sound locomotives running constantly. Um, anyway, that's a plexiglass sheet, um, and I made out my uh, schematic for the track. Uh, used chart tape to tape it off, painted it black, pulled the chart tape, put chart tape on where the lights come through, and then uh, painted it yellow to give me the routes. Uh, I use touch toggles. I've talked about these several times, but you just put your finger over them and they change and change direction. Uh, these are crossovers and you put them here and the indicator will give you the indication in the center that the crossover is active and then you just can move it right back. The three ways are real nice. Uh, the way Barrett Hill does them because you've got a little adapter that you plug three of your lights into. And so all you have to do is touch the, the side you want to go to and it'll change all of your lights, all your, all your directions on it. So for a three-way three uh, turnout, it's a really nice way to go. Uh, I'll be using these all the way on uh, the layout. Uh, I don't know of anything else. I've got some of the lights wired up and stuff like that, as you can see on the, on the flats back there in the back. Not all of them are wired up by any means. Um, but, uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of them are on this side. I still got to get all the building lights lit or wired up and, uh, then the fashion stuff put up on here. But anyway, that's, uh, that's what I've gotten done. Um, it felt like a whole lot more <laughs> and I kind of try and wait until I've got something to show you. But, um, anyway, uh, this is along with building some other kits down in the uh, office that I've been doing. So. Um, those I'll, I'll show as I get them finished and brought up here. Anyway, uh, until next time, uh, we'll see you later. Take care.